<sighs> Welcome back, 0K fans, to Nanoleads at Dawn. This is Shadow Fury 333, and we have the final match between Golda and Google Frog. This just sort of played off the cuff. Not a tournament, just happened to be three matches in a row, and since I have a functioning win counter, thank you, Google Frog, again, because, I mean, I had some bugs that they ended up fixing. It was a minor thing. Actually, no, it wasn't them. I think it was Sprung in this case. They fixed some other bugs with visibility. Anyway, this is going to be the last game on Flooded Valley. Flooded Valley is, as you can tell, a sea map. There is water. You can go under the water. You can go over the water. I actually wouldn't recommend going under the water because bump water is kind of weird when you're under it. But you can go over the water. Actually, does it refract? No, it doesn't really even show anything. It's actually very weird. Anyhow, that was unnecessary. So yeah, Flooded Valley is a water map. There is water, and thus... Hovercraft, Amphib, and ships, usually Hovercraft and Amphib, are what are played. It's also a Famine map, again! So another Famine map, what well, we saw last time a Famine map was Apophis, and Google Frog, although admittedly at great effort, did win. So we'll see if this works this time around. It'll be interesting, though Gorda is going for Hovercraft, and Gorda has typically been quite good with Hovercraft. There was a while when Gorda was the only one playing Hovercraft, and they played it very well, though admittedly there have been a lot of changes since that time. So we'll see. Anyhow, that is... Really, all there is to it. Let's start the match. So, starting off immediately, this is this is a map I should point out that has a lot of reclaim in the opening areas. Like 500 metal and 1400 energy. You don't really need to build a power plant for the first two minutes of the game. Just reclaim, reclaim everything. Each of these trees, 25 energy. Okay, it, it there is 1400. That that is true. It's just not obvious. But yeah, you can just reclaim your way to victory for at least the first couple minutes. So a couple daggers and a couple ducks. And ducks coming down here. What extra shit was working underwater? Anyway. Well, hopefully you can see the ducks just fine. But yeah, a couple ducks. A couple of daggers. And actually a lot of ducks, come to think of it. One dagger here, but four ducks just moving down in single files, at least. So Google Frog unfortunately needs to group them up and is exactly doing exactly that. There we go, getting that group going. Because on their own, they didn't do a great job, and down goes... See, this is what I mean. When I mentioned in the last game that daggers are not particularly useful unless they have a critical... Not last game, sorry. It was... I think... When was it? It was, I think, the second game I did, the one between Google Frog and Sanic, where I mentioned that Hovercraft really needs critical mass to be useful. That's all about all it has to its name. Ooh, unfortunately, ducks do not home when underwater. Or the torpedoes don't home in underwater, so they don't do especially well against daggers. If the ducks get out of the water, they'll be fine. Although, even then, like, three ducks against five daggers, I think the ducks actually are, yeah, slightly better for cost. But they're basically even. So think in terms of numbers, because the costs are the same. But unfortunately, yeah, ducks only have homing above water. And we see, okay, scallops are coming in here. Kind of see why. I mean, we do see a lot of daggers. And this is getting to critical mass. I think it is, okay, one short. About six or seven. It depends on what you're fighting, actually. It does depend on the target. I think against ducks, 340, the critical mass should be actually about three. No, four. The critical mass is four, just barely. So these ducks can actually take out any of these groups right... Oh, not right now. Not anymore. These four have grouped up. That is going to be a problem when they attack here. But the scallop... Oh, the scallop stays above water. It'll be perfectly fine. It just needs to stay above water. And Google Frog's commander moving into a dangerous position, gonna be like six or so volleys. And yep, Gorda moving around, taking out that commander, or trying to at least. Commander trying to upgrade, but this is not working out. The commander only has about 10 seconds to, not even 10 seconds, five seconds to live. Takes out one of them. Okay, that buys it a little bit of time. There we go, got his ride cannon. S that succeeded. That got out of there. These ducks need to get on the island though. They get on the island, they should be fine. They should have the range advantage, and they should have homing to, to their name, but. No, they are not. They're going underwater. Why are they going underwater? Google Frog knows they don't need to go underwater. They should be above water. There we go. And indeed they do, because there goes the ducks under above water. This is still basically critical mass for the daggers. The daggers are going to win this fight. The ducks doing a valiant job, but that was just not enough. The critical mass has been reached. Scallops will be fine at this point. Ducks will not. Ducks will have basically no power right now. Google Frog's still a bit ahead economically. Not reclaiming a whole lot of energy, though, and they are behind energy-wise. And they have ooh, still a lot of metal. A lot of metal and a lot of energy in their base. Gold, on the other hand, has reclaimed all of it. All but 75 energy, all but three trees, 
have been reclaimed by Gorda. And we can see the effect of that. Gorda does have a slightly larger army despite... I mean, Google Frog actually did have a larger army earlier on. But still, that's a lot to work with. The Google Frog gonna be hit hard. This duck will do what it can. The defender's not gonna be of any help. But the duck will do what it can. These defenders have been just treasonous lately. Like, hitting buildings, hitting fellow units. Just so much defender treason. I still got rid of three of them very rapidly. Oh, I think the critical mass has been lost. No, not quite. Actually, the critical mass is still there, but not for this many ducks. Where are those scallops? There are the scallops. Just walking down. Should be able to deal with this without too much issue. Is the extra shader supposed to work underwater? Hmm. Maybe the outline is just overpowering it. Anyhow, that aside. Hold it. Oh yeah, it is. Never mind. Golda is, I think, ahead. Google Frog, however, if they bait Golda into attacking, as we saw last game, we saw in that first uh, last game, the first game, the one in Apophis, that if Google Frog is able to bait Golda into defended positions, Google Frog can win. Google Frog can actually win quite well. But at this, at this point, I don't know. Golda has the critical mass. Google Frog's underwater right now, once again in a disadvantageous position, especially with the scallops. They need to get above water, but they cannot. They can't actually go... Oh, they can go up here. Why am I not going up there? They need to go up there. They desperately need to go up there. And down go all the ducks. Like I said, critical mass. And there we go. That's what the scallops need. Bait those onto the shore. They bait... Bait the daggers onto the shore, and then they have a chance. Unfortunately, scalpel's coming in, and no ducks to deal with them. Those scallops are dead. Oh, not quite. Wow. Okay, Google Frog is likely to repair these. Still kind of tricky, though. This is passable for Hover, by the way. Ah, one of them goes down. The second one, however, can be repaired, but I don't know if it will be. This cove could be the death of these Hovers, though. Unfortunately, the scallop is not close enough. It can't be. Google Frog not repairing it. The scallop does not have a great position. If it could get... If it could have gotten to this area right here... Threat that area right there and attack from there, it would have probably killed most, if not all, of the daggers. Unfortunately, it did not have the position needed. That was still out of combat repairs doing the trick. No, it's not. That was Google Frog's doing. And that's gonna be painful. Google Frog falling progressively behind here. And there goes that last gallop. Now, Google Frog's commander in a very tight spot right now. They have just got defenses on all sides. Golda's commander coming in with a greater advantage in health. The Duck's coming in to counterattack. And that should be a threat. Golda's commander, unfortunately, gets, or, unfortunately for Google Frog, gets underwater in time. How many? 16 daggers right now. That's more than. That's enough to just take anything. That can pretty much take any group at this point. Unless that has a massive amount of AoE. And admittedly, ducks do have a decent amount of AoE, and this cove is being a problem. Golda's commander under great threat, actually, thanks to these two lotuses. Once again, lotus is being a problem for Golda. Surprisingly enough, defender not able to. Oh, they gotta get rid of the defender though. Google frog needs. They know they want to do that. They need to do that. They need to get rid of it. Looks like they're gonna attack the main, and that will be very dangerous. I don't see that working. These these daggers might they're not. They're not going in the right direction. They won't be able to intercept before the ducks get on land. But, no, the ducks are moving away and are just going to kill themselves. Actually, yeah, they're going to kill themselves. There, there was no way. Their only hope was to get on land and... Actually, I suppose it wasn't terrible. Harder to reclaim, but not much harder. Get on land or get over here and break some stuff. Actually, Google Frog doesn't know about this, do they? No, they don't know about the wind generators. Never mind. My mistake. They don't know about them. Yeah. Actually, would they have radar coverage... They have decent radar coverage. They should know about some stuff. Okay, there we go. Now they know about... There's things here. They know their stuff. They just got radar from the looks of it. Did they just upgrade to radar? Nope, they just built radar. And Google Frog's commander in a hole to try to avoid the Gauss Fire. That actually can work. Gauss Fire does bounce off of ground. But no. The Burst, however, getting rid of most of Golda's force, but that's too late. It's way too late. I don't think Google Frog's going to have a chance to pull back from this. Even with the smaller dagger force, like it's it's considerably smaller. It's small enough that the ducks could at least on land fight be able to win. 
but that's only in a land fight. In a sea fight, Dagger's going, but the Dagger's going up to the Cove once again, and this is the land fight. Getting rid of two Daggers for the cost of one duck, good deal. However, well, it would be a good deal if it was an even setup. It's not, however, Google Frog behind economically, Google Frog behind militarily, and I think behind militarily, how much? Yeah, it's worth 1,200, behind militarily. Just taking advantage of these coves, that's all they can really do. And try to avoid getting hit by AoE, exactly like that, where they lose three ducks in one shot. Basically nullifying whatever gains they had from the daggers. This, this is game. And yeah, for reference, for those of you curious... Oh. Okay, so they can't get up on this side. These sides they can, the front they can, the back... Actually, there's been a lot of damage, never mind, I can't say for sure. Right now, the sides they can. But as you can see, stuff was dug. But yeah, the sides they definitely can. It looked like they could at first, so I think this is just damage from stuff blowing up. Yeah, this is damage from stuff blowing up that's causing the pathability problems. So, by default, no. By default, this whole area, this whole cove, or all these coves, this whole center island is pathable. It's hard. It, it's not safe. I would not path it with hovercraft, but it's, it's pathable, totally. They can get in, and they have. And at this point, yeah, Google Frog does not have anything. They have ducks and scallops. They have some reclaim to work with. I mean, emergency reclaim, I guess that's what it was for. But even then, I don't think it's enough. Because they have no AoE from water to land, or water to water. They have nothing. They have no crowd control for this. Scallops do not, they sort of do the trick. But they're meant to be a skirmisher underwater. At least I think they are. Maybe not, actually. That attack's different. It looks like... Hmm. Air effect's fairly low. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they're meant to be a skirmisher now. But I think overall this is probably going to be game. Nice duck there. Sneaky duck. But not enough. That's it. So, I don't know. Google Frog's still holding on. Still tenacious. But Gorda has like three times the military. Has twice the economy. Has the center as well. And it's tough to get up there. Easier for bots than hovercrafts, but still tough to get up there. Wait, underwater duck torpedoes home? What? Oh, okay. That's something I didn't realize. So that underwater torpedoes from ducks actually were just straight shots. Well, at any rate, the scallops actually do have a chance. They might be able to assault directly, I think. Be kind of tough against a riot, but these daggers... Oh, did Gorda not see that? Gorda didn't see that. Gorda has no idea that these are here. Oops, what am I doing? Well, everything just suddenly went dark. That was strange. Yeah, Golda has no idea that these scallops are here. None. There's three scallops coming here. I think Google Frog... Well, they have... This is their last ditch attempt. This is their last shot. Golda is so far ahead economically and is rapidly becoming far ahead militarily. They're just accessing. That's the main thing, actually. Not the caretaker, but still. They have been accessing. That's helped. That's helped Google Frog. And now, moving in with three scallops, if they get on land, that should do it. I think Golda's command is going to go down. All the daggers are out of position. The daggers are, however, moving in. Golda sees this. They're coming in from a disadvantaged position, but the lotuses are a huge problem. There are too many lotuses. One of the scallops is going to die before it even gets a shot on them. But even then, the remaining lotus is able to deal with this, and that's pretty powerful. But they don't have, they don't have anything on the cove, though. Still, the center has been broken, but at what cost? All these scallops, that's not enough. Nowhere near. Although another one in the water trying to help, but doesn't have the AoE to help. Just needs to stay on land, do what they can. And yeah, ducks aren't going to be enough. Like I said, it's four to destroy a duck in one shot, and there's 21. Yeah, not enough. Not enough ducks. I guess... Google Frog wants to... That's the thing. Google Frog wants to put these in the water to heal them, but doesn't want to get them in the water where they're at a disadvantage, because if they're in the water, then they... Yeah, there they go. There's the healing. If they're underwater, they can't crowd control. And if they can't crowd control, they're going to die as they're about to right now. There we go. One down, two down. That's game. That, that's game. If it wasn't before... Yeah, Google Frog throwing in the towel. Set the duck to self-destruct, and that is game. 
Okay, so 2-1 for Golda in this series. Still, a very good game in Apophis. It was a pretty good game, I think, the last one, too. This one was strange. Flooded Valley is a weird map. It's shallow. I mean, it's water, but it's also shallow, so it's really hard to know what exactly to do. That center island is such a huge deal. I think it's interesting. I like to see it from time to time. But that was that time. So I hope you enjoyed that. And that is going to be it for me. That's it. So thank you for watching, everyone, and have a good night. Although before I go, I should point out that... Well, there's a thing for Clan Wars that's being proposed in the forums. Not really sure what's going to happen right now, but it looks interesting. Possibly 3v3, possibly some weird combination of things. Like 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, maybe. I don't know. It looks like 3v3 is the idea, so that would be cool. It's hard to cast, though. That's the one thing. 3v3 has got so much going on. But hopefully that'll be a thing. Hopefully, for my sake, it'll be more 1v1, 2v2 focused. Or primarily 1v1, because I like 1v1. But it looks like 3v3 is at least the original idea. But that's a neat idea. Clan Wars thing. So yeah, it's in the forums. If you wanted to go discuss that, maybe put in opinions in which would be a thing to do. That If that happens, it'll probably replace the Saturday cast, depending on when the timing is. But that's not likely happening anytime soon. There's no set date for when it's going to start. It's only been proposed right now. Cool idea, though. Just thought I'd mention it. Anyway, that's still going to be it. So thank you once again for watching, and have a good night, everyone.